All OSCE and SOE examinations are conducted at the Royal College of Anaesthetists, situated at Red Lion Square in central London. The nearest tube station is Hoburn on the Central and Piccadilly lines, only a five-minute walk from the college. These video modules are designed to help prepare you for your examination day. They should give you a clear idea of what to expect from the time you arrive to the time you leave, as the OSCE and SOE examinations will take up most of the day. Most candidates are nervous and anxious about the day, and we hope that some familiarity with the process will help to ease some of these feelings and give you the chance to improve your level of performance as a result. On exam days, a member of the exams team or a commissionaire will be in reception to assist you with your exam registration and answer any questions you may have. On arrival, you'll be asked to show some ID, either your passport or driving licence, not your hospital ID. Have your admission notice to hand. This has your candidate number on it and the times of your exams. Be aware that these are call times, the time you need to be in reception ready to be called. For the OSCE and SOE, you will have three call times. Your SOE1, Pharmacology and Physiology, will normally be in the morning and your SOE2, Clinical and Physics, in the afternoon. Your OSCE could be scheduled for AM or PM, so make sure you're clear about your call time. The Commissioner will confirm these details and give you a badge with your candidate number on. You will then be told when and where to be to report for your first exam. You will need to sign in at reception prior to each call time. Mobile phones are not allowed on the exam floors, so before you leave the reception area, make sure it's switched off. There are toilet and locker facilities on the lower ground floor. Lockers are not particularly large and you will need a pound coin to use them. If you are staying locally overnight, you can leave your luggage in the lower ground changing area. There are seating areas on the lower ground floor. And if it's not in use, you can also use the lecture theatre. It's an ideal place to sit and read or relax, as there is often a fairly long time between exams. No food or drink is allowed in the lecture theatre, and you are not provided with tea, coffee or food by the college, but there are plenty of cafes and restaurants nearby. But do remember, whenever you leave the college, you must sign out with the commissionaire and make sure you are back in plenty of time for your next call. You should be ready in reception at least five minutes before each call time. If you've been out of the building, don't forget to sign back in. Check that your mobile phone is in your luggage, your locker or handed to the commissionaire as they are not permitted on the exam floor. If you are attending an OSCE, you may wish to have your stethoscope with you. It's not essential as there will be one in the station where it is required. However, most candidates like to use their own. Pens and pencils are provided on the exam floors. Good morning ladies and gentlemen, this is the call for the next SOE examination. Just listen for your three digit candidate number and indicate you're here please. 101. Yeah. 102. At the appropriate call time, the invigilator will announce which call he or she is making. If your number wasn't called, stay in reception. Your call will follow shortly. If your number was called, the invigilator will lead your group to the briefing room on the exam floor. On entering the briefing room, you will be asked to take a seat. If you are taking the SOE, the invigilator will conduct the exam brief. For the OSCE exam, the invigilator will leave you and the examiner floor supervisor will arrive to conduct the briefing. This is the OSCE. Can you turn off the invigilator or examiner will suggest a comfort break before entering the exam room. But other than this, don't leave the briefing room until instructed to do so. The following modules will cover the briefing and prepare you for your exam. Module 2 will cover the SOE and Module 3, 
the Oski.